But I didn't care because I wanted to do it. So I said to Rod, no, 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 no. I, I'll learn it. And then when I'm with them and hear the, the music, then I would be able to sing it. Well, we got in the studio and I started to sing. And I was able to do absolutely every little twist and turn he wanted. So I was thrilled. I was thrilled to please the, the writers and to sing the Bond song and to finally get a chance to be in the Bond company. So that was another great time. Sally Wings is and always was a sad song to me. I don't know how to tell you how I related to it, but it was one that I incorporated in the show, and I thought it was special, but it was a moment also kind of dealing with my pianist had passed, and I was able to bring in all of the sad things about it to be able to relate to that particular song. But it showed a side of me that is quite unlike I am on stage. It brings memories of the sad memories that you want to remember. That's, uh, that song reflects that, and I felt that it should be a part of this album for people that, that need, need that particular song for certain times in their lives. I always wanted to live in Europe. That was always a secret desire. And the fact that I got here, I, my dream came true there. I met a man, and um, we've been together for 18 years now. And so that's, that's enough to cross the waters for. And so that was special, very, very special. I am very drawn to Europe, always was, because it's different. It's more my style. I'm a Southern girl. Life was always kind of quiet in the South, and moving to the city, everything gets loud, exciting, wild. But Europe was special because it was, you know, the opposite of track. It's the mystery of it. France, England, how it all sounded, you know, even Switzerland, the mountains. So then I thought, one day I'll live there. I know I will. I knew somehow that I would live in Europe. I'm only living about seven minutes from farmhouses, from cows, from farm life. I can get in my car and whenever I feel the feeling of wanting to get back into feeling of nutbush, cornfields and everything, it's just on the hill over there. It feels so absolutely wonderful. Zurich is beautiful. It's my style because it's strict, but very much to the real. I like control. I like when things are controlled. I like order. Aside from the fact that most people think that it's always cold and dark, it's not. Voila. You can see how beautiful it is. I love it very much. I love going to France, to my house there, but coming back to Switzerland is kind of something like it's... it's um, it's retired. It's a feeling where you can relax and really have no schedule and, and don't bother with it. I have a handful of friends, which is enough. Uh, I have tons of opportunities and I'm living good life. I lived in Germany at the time when I first heard I just needed that song so badly. And then my musicians came to see me because they were on tour with someone. I said, listen to this song. They didn't like it. So I thought, okay, fine. Then I had an anniversary, and I said to Irvin, Irvin Bach, my companion, I said, please, you have to invite Ramazade, or what we call him Ramazade, Eros, because I have to meet him. So through record company, we managed to get in touch with Eros. He came with his wife, Michelle, at the time, and the whole crowd, the manager, the, uh, the lawyer, the <laughs> you cannot believe this whole bunch of people came. It was funny because there's so much fun. And he was so cute. Well, he still is, but he was cuter than And I had a little, little kind of a crush as a fan, like that, you know. So it was perfect to sing the song with him because it was kind of flirtatious and you know what I mean. I said to him, not allowed to touch or cat or nothing. So. But we got along great. I loved singing the song with him. I actually went on a European tour with him for about four dates. We got along absolutely great. We became great friends afterwards and we still are. Open Arms is one of those classic type of Tina songs. That was the kind of like why I had problems with it in the beginning because I wanted to sing something different. But you know what it comes down to, you are who you are, and the people want to hear what they want to hear from you. And it's why I had to really make a strong effort to bring it home, to make it happen. And it actually happened for me in the studio when I really started to sing it. Something just opened up, and the song just started to happen, and I started to really feel it. 
really. It, it, gosh, it, and now actually I have to be performing in a bit. It, it just totally came 100% forward and is totally taken over now. So having an attitude about wondering if I could really make it happen into turning it into positive, yeah, it's, it's super now. Brother Bear, Great Spirits, uh, the Disney project for the animated movies. I'd worked with them before uh, on other, uh, some other projects. So this time I was contacted from the same, but this time I had a chance to work directly with Phil Collins, and uh, which Phil and I know each other because we've worked from time to time. Uh, Princess Trust and from time to time with other projects. And so this one was actually one that he had just written, actually. And I liked doing those songs because they're different. It, it gives you something else, something different to do from the normal work of my career. Um, and working with with Phil is always special because he's he's such a great songwriter. He, he, he writes such great songs. He sings so great, and he loves his work so much. You know, he's just always there. We live quite close. We're in touch from time to time. It's always a pleasure to work with him. And I would never say no to Disney because of starting from Itina up until now, we've gotten along great, and it's just another home. All the best actually came from the song Simply the Best. And that song arrived years ago. I performed it years and years. People cover it. It's on commercials. It's everywhere because it's a special song. It will last. Some of the best is an anthem. It's a song where I felt that it didn't necessarily have to be about two people. It's between animal, beauty of a car, a horse, a, a thing. And that is what I sung about. That is why I did the video, of course, being riding a horse, saying this is the best moment of when the wind is in your hair and you're riding and you're the freedom of all of that. It covers a lot of things, the best. And I think how the people have taken it is like, Tina, you're the best. And I think a, a question was asked to me once, do you get up in the morning and look in the mirror and say to yourself, oh, you're Tina Turner and you're the best? Oh, my answer was, absolutely no. I... I'm far removed from my, my stage persona when I'm home. I have never allowed Tina Turner to totally take over my life. I love being me too much. I love me more than I love the personification of uh, my career. It's two totally separate, uh, if we can call it, entities. On stage, I'm performing. Short dress, hair, I'm given a show. I like to give the show wholehearted, every, in, every inch of whatever I can do to please the people. But off stage, I consider myself really a great person. <laughs> I like me very much. I like anime book. Uh, it's a different personality because I'm not acting. I'm myself. And I'm enjoying that very much, even now.